Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Tom Hopkins. He is a legend in sales and training and motivation. Welcome, Tom. Gerhard, thank you so much for having me on your program. And I'm thrilled to talk about a subject today with you and your viewers that I think is just critical. It's a powerful subject on how to handle failure and rejection. And if there is one key that I have found in success and successful selling, it's the ability to cope with the crisis of failing and handle the rejection that you're going to get in the field of sales. And what I did years ago, I thought I'm going to, with the help of a man named Art Mortel, I'm going to create these attitudes towards failure. And whenever a person is rejected or fails, if they'll say these, they'll release that stress and anxiety. So the first one is I never see failure as failure, but only as a learning experience. And oh, that's so true, Gerhard. Every time you fail, make it a positive thing. I'm learning from it. In fact, Thomas Edison is the one that created this beautiful concept. He had over 10,000 written experiments to create the light bulb. And when he did create it, his critics, they said, how'd you feel failing 10,000 times? He said, I didn't fail 10,000 times. I learned 9,999 ways that it would not work. Or number two, I never see failure as failure, but only as a negative feedback I need to change course in my direction. Now, if you look at every rejection or failure as negative feedback you need to change, you will then change to a new subject or you'll change and ask them another question. Number three is my favorite. I never see failure as failure, but only as an opportunity to develop my sense of humor. Do you know if you laugh every time you mess up or fail, there will be days you'll be in stitches all day long, which is good. Or I never see failure as failure, but only as an opportunity to practice my techniques. Well, that's what you get when you do a presentation with a client. You don't end up getting the check or closing the sale. You had a chance to practice, which is a positive way of looking at not getting the yes. And I believe that life is a game. We're all playing every day. Selling is the art form game inside the game of life. And then, of course, I've written a champion creed, which I'd love you folks to take and to use. And it's very simple. I'm not judged by the number of times I fail, but by the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying. See, that's the essence. Please realize you've never failed until you quit. And if you're still striving, you're still uh, writing your goals down, you're still out there doing the best job you can every day, well, you are succeeding. You must have patience and perseverance to go after your goal. Love the people you serve and use the money you earn. Never use the people and love the money. And if you live by that, not only you prosper for a season, you'll prosper for a lifetime. And what comes to my mind is that uh, adversity is only the diamond dust that nature uses to polish its jewels. So true. That is right on. Right on. So take all of this and I hope you make it yours. We just so hope that this has enables you to have a better life. Well, thank you, Tom. You've changed many lives and uh, I'm very grateful for your time and for, for your friendship. Thank you. As you as well, Gerhard, thank you.